Hey planner friends and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would show you what I keep in my uh, pen basket. So this is something that I picked up from Target a really long time ago and I've used this for so many things. I've used it in the bathroom, like for toiletries. I've used it in my daughter's room for, I had like bows over here and hair clips. I've used it all over the house. So it is pretty sturdy. It is by Rubbermaid and now this sits beside my desk and it holds all of my pens. So I just wanted to give you an overview and show you what I use on a weekly basis uh, for my planning. So I'm going to start over here and I will show you how these pockets are. So I'm just going to take these out. So if you look right down in there, these actually pop. So right now it's open. And then you can close it. So now you have all of this space. But I like to keep it open because now it creates a cube right there. And that's where I keep these pens. So these are primarily black pens that I have. And I keep all of my black pens in one area. So this is a Sharpie Estrel, a regular Sharpie. This is a Uniball Sig Signo uh, Micro 207. I have a Papermate, Bic Gelocity, uh, Bic Intensity Medium, which is really nice. And then I have a Muji that it's not really my favorite. Um, this is a Uni for Pro. I don't think I've ever used this. I have a Pilot G2 and then another Papermate gel. Then I have a couple of Micron pens and these are all, I believe, yes, in the 05, so basically the medium tip. And then I also have one pencil. So I keep all those right here on the front. Then in the back right here, these are all Papermate flares and the, these are from one collection, I think it was called Candy Pop, and I keep all of my Papermate flares cap down, and that really helps uh, with drying out, because if you store these upright like this, so you can see, uh, I like to call it a flower, it's not really a flower, but so you can see the flower, um, your flares will dry out very, very quickly. So make sure that you always keep them cap down. So that's what I keep in the back. Then I also have three different rulers. So this first one is an old one from an Erin Condren planner. This next one was the ruler from my Spiral Small Passion Planner. And then this last one is from Sunshine Sticker Co. And this is actually made for their, essentially it's kind of like a Hobonichi Week style planner, but this actually fits um, a weeks, a different week style planner that I have. So the grids um, line up and it has like spacing with the numbers at the top. So I keep these three rulers in here. Okay, so moving on to the middle section, I have double-sided tape and honestly, I prefer the Tombow double-sided tape. It's just really expensive. So this I picked up in a three pack from Walmart. I have scotch tape and this is normally just what I use to tip in to my um, planners or journals. I keep some white out, one big eraser, and then I have two ink pads. These are both color theory. This is power suit, which is a dark gray, and then this is purple rain, which is um, a dark purple. Then I also have this giant date stamp and as you guys can tell it's absolutely huge so I use this sometimes in my Bible and I've used it primarily for journaling purposes and since it is so large this is a really good size uh, bin to keep it all in okay so now we're gonna move over to this side of things so in this front cube I only have let's see how many things are in here Three things. I have one paper clip, some sewing scissors because they are very sharp and they work wonderful. And then I have some glue and this is the color, it's just blue. And it does uh, turn into just clear glue. 
Then in this back last cube, these are supplies that I use for uh, Bible journaling. And they could also be used um, if you have really thin paper. These pens are and markers are really good. So I'm just gonna show you these. So I have three of the Sharpie highlighters that are gel and it's kind of um, like a crayon almost. Let's see if you can see what that looks like. So it's, it is a gel highlighter. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it kind of, it kind of uh, goes on like a crayon, but it does not bleed through because it doesn't have actual ink in it. Um, it's just a gel. So these are really good if you're looking for highlighters that you don't want to bleed on to other paper. The only downside is that they really only come in standard highlighter colors, the you know iridescent yellow, pink, and orange. Next, I have erasable highlighters. And these are by Frixon. And so you've got the highlighter on one side and then all of the ends have erasers on them. I got these, like I said, for Bible journaling and I haven't found that I've needed to really erase them. So I understand the concept of why they did it because I think anything erasable is always helpful to have, but I don't really use the eraser side that often. Now these are also Frixon erasables and these are all pens. So these are, this is actually a mix of two sets. So if you're interested in the Frixon erasables and let's say you're buying them from Amazon, um, one way that you can tell them apart is the mediums are 07s and all of the mediums, the eraser will match the barrel of the pen. So like this is a purple pen with a purple eraser orange pen, orange eraser. So that's how you can tell these are 07s. Now, if you want a fine tip, because these, the 07s I believe are called fine tip, but they're really not. These are more of a medium tip. Your fine tips are gonna be 05s, and these all have white erasers at the top. So it's a purple pen with a clear or pretty much white eraser. So that's how you can tell the difference, and that's how I can tell the difference, which is why I keep all of them together like this. If I want a fine tip, I just grab the clear eraser head, and if I want a medium tip pen, then I grab the actual color eraser. So, that's everything. That's how I like to keep it organized. I know some people like to sort by color, but for me, it's just easier for me to sort basically by function. So I hope that this gives you guys some tips or inspiration to help get your pen situation organized because I'm sure if you're watching this video, you have a lot of pens. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy planner related videos and I'll talk to you in my next one.